Hello, everybody. I uh, did a pink look today because this is October and it's Breast Cancer, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I wanted to do a pink look today because my sister, she is a survivor of breast cancer and I lost my cousin, well, his wife lost her life to breast cancer and, and it's just, you know, she fought really long and hard and, and just, you know, people don't, you know, I, we, we all need to get mammograms and everything like that. And, and just be aware, and if you don't, you know, I, I will be honest with you, I've had uh, several uh, mammograms, and to be honest with you, I think they need to find another way to check for, you know, to detect breast cancer. I know you could check your own self, and if you find a lump, and then they're going to want to do a mammogram, and that's where they smash down your boob, I mean, and that's not good for your breast. I'm just saying, you know, even to me, I believe even with the slightest little hickey on your breast or on your neck, you know, those, those can cause cancer, you know. I mean, at least that's what my dad told me when I was younger. <laughs> so maybe he just didn't want me to do that or anything. And so, um, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I'm sad for, you know, Jessica, my cousin-in-law. And she left behind two beautiful little girls and a husband and, and, you know, and I, I give God praise for, you know, my sister is a survivor and I know she has to be checked to make sure that, you know, none of it comes back again. I mean, that's what Jessica did too. And, um, you know, she, she fought it, she won, and then it come back and... Yeah, I mean, she had every, I mean, she had every treatment that was available to her, and yeah, but anyways, this is my pink look for Breast Cancer Awareness Month for October, and I also used uh, the Morello Twins Brianna palette, um, I used this palette here, and I also used um, the Gourmand Girls Sayla Moore palette. It is a beautiful palette. Let me get there. But yes, that is a very beautiful palette by the Gourmand Girls, and. They're an, she's an Andy brand. Her name's Christina. And everybody thinks her last name is Gormon, but it's not. <laughs> but anyways, you ought to check out. Um, you can, it's Gormon Girls Cosmetics. You can check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and tweeter and then this palette here I got in a AIA beauty bundle and it came with two palettes um, and it's by um, made by beauty creations and I do like beauty creations a lot and now I want to talk about uh, about 10 palettes that I have got over 
the years. Let me. It's by Shop Alter Ego. My first palette I got from them was the Temperest palette by Alter Ego. And it I think it's supposed to be a dupe for uh, the Sultry palette by ABH. I'm not real sure, but I really like this palette. It's a great fall palette, actually. But that was my very first palette that I got from them. And I believe they don't have this palette anymore. I think there's a couple of palettes that they don't have, but I was real fortunate enough to get all the palettes that they had made. And, uh... My last palette that I ordered from them, I believe, was the the Luster palette, and it's really pretty. And I'm not real sure if it's supposed to be a Pat McGrath dupe or, or not. I don't know. I can't afford to buy her big palettes that are like hundred and fifty dollars or more but this there is I'm thinking that it's supposed to be a dupe but like I said I'm not quite sure that's palette number two and then this palette here is called daydream this is um A real pretty palette also I like it I've used it I really like the, the shimmers and stuff in it and it I think this is actually maybe a a copy of um, a Huda Beauty palette I'm not real certain um, I know I've got a couple of Huda Beauty palettes but I haven't seen one like this actually so that's number three. And number four, <laughs> I really like this palette. This is pretty, it's called Artemis. Um, that's what it looks like on the outside. And on the inside, it has got some very, very gorgeous looks or shadows in there. I do love this. And I heard someone the other day that she had showed this palette and she thinks it's a dupe for the metropolis palette and i really don't know who makes that so but that is palette number four let's say one two three four yes and then palette number five is called goddess palette And it's pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I like that too. It's very pretty. And I, I don't know. I think these are all supposed to be dupes for some eyeshadow person that makes them. I don't know. I mean, the most of the high ends. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Palette number six is called Shadow Kiss. That's what that looks like. And then the inside is gorgeous. <laughs> that is so pretty, so pretty. I really love this. But it's called Shadow Kiss. And, let's see. Uh, palette seven is Aurora. I 
I really love eyeshadows and this hair is so pretty too. So very pretty. I've played in this one a little bit. I've played in all of them actually and I think I played more in the Artemis palette and I played uh, a lot in the Goddess palette. But this one here was called Aurora. And palette number nine is Canyon. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful too. <laughs> this is very beautiful. Some nice colors, very nice colors. Be a good fall palette, actually. And palette number nine is Sahara. This is a very gorgeous palette too. I really like this one. That is very, very beautiful. I do like that. But it's the Sahara palette. And these are all by Alter Ego. And they haven't come out with any more palettes in a while. And my last palette is called Blooms. And I think the person that showed the Artemis palette the other day said this one here is probably for I don't know, I can't remember, but it's a Natasha Denona palette. Um, I, I, I don't know the name of the palette that, but this one's very pretty. I've used it several times also. But it's called Blooms. I used to have all this stuff wrote down and I went to rearranging everything and turning my room around and backwards and upside down. <laughs> uh, so I got some things are misplaced. But I've got all 10 of those palettes that they have, they came out with and you know, I go to their page every now and then, like I pulled them up today to see what they had and, and, and they don't even have this temptress palette on there, but this one here is so gorgeous. Yeah, see, and I even got some, uh, uh, liquid lips from them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to load this up. But anyways, they have the Artemis palette and they have the Shadow Kiss palette and uh, the Goddess palette is sold out and they're having a sell on the Luster palette. Um, let's see, it was $22 and they want $18 for it now. And uh, they're sold out of the Daydream palette and they're sold out of the Aurora palette. They have the Bloom palette and it is $17. And the Canyon palette is um, $17. And uh, the Sahara 
is $17. So that's a pretty good deal. I mean, that they don't, they don't even have this one anymore. It's not even on their website now, but that I am so grateful that I, you know, really got those because, you know, I, I don't always, I can't always afford, you know, high end products from, you know, the other people. But anyways, I am done telling you about my alter ego palettes. I, <laughs> for the last two days, I've been uh, putting my palettes on a wheel. <laughs> so, you know, I, I got a palette roulette wheel now. And I thought I had a whole lot more palettes than what I got, but I don't. So... All together, not counting the ones that I have in my giveaway, you know, that I'm going to be, you know, giving out in friend mail or if you win, a, you know, a giveaway that I have on my own that's not in the giveaway is 156 pallets. <laughs> like... I don't know if I want to declutter or no. <laughs> I mean, these are all still good. I mean, all my palettes, I mean, I went through them all and most of them I got from like BoxyCharm and um, pretty much BoxyCharm, that's what I got. And that's all those palettes that are on here are including even the small ones from like ColourPop and uh, and the one, the, the quads from ColourPop, you know, I, I do like ColourPop too. And I really like indie brands a lot, but they're just kind of expensive and I have to save. So I got me a way of saving. I got a cash app and, and I, this is the first time that, well, I, I've had it for a minute and I activated it last night and I've got most of my bills paid. I've got like two more and then I need to go get a, a license, or not a license, but a, li a license plate, a tag. And uh, that's like 27.50. And um, yeah, and then I have to um, buy a reservoir before it starts getting really cold so I can, um, get that reservoir put in for my radiator. And yeah, you know, so I'll be doing that before heavy snow moves in and freezing weather because I don't want my car to break. And yeah, so anyways, <laughs> enough of that. And I hope you all like the pink look and uh, just have a good Friday. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I shall see you on my next video. So y'all have a good day. God bless.